earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, tornadoes, avalanches, and many other natural disasters are erupting, brewing, and blowing all over the world. Do you know the difference between a hurricane and a tornado? Do you know the most common volcano is not even a mountain? With every turn of the page, you will discover fascinating facts about Earth's natural disasters. Come and dive deep into the center of Earth and discover where and how a volcano develops and grows. Or jump into the middle of a storm and ride its high-speed wings. Each page is full of facts and incredible stories describing the history of disastrous events from all over the world. What causes an earthquake? Earthquakes occur when the outermost layer of Earth, called the crust, shifts or moves. The crust is made up of enormous plates that fit together like puzzle pieces. These plates are constantly moving and shifting. When two plates run into each other or slide past each other, pressure builds along the edges of the plate. This pressure causes rocks along the edges to bend, then break. When the rocks break, they shake the ground. The shake starts deep below Earth's surface and spread out in waves called seismic waves. The point on Earth's surface directly above where the rock begins to break is called the epicenter. Is it possible to predict an earthquake? Earthquake experts, called seismologists, know that most earthquakes occur where plates meet. But scientists cannot predict exactly when earthquakes will occur or how strong they will be. To be during an earthquake is near its epicenter. The ground shakes the most at this spot. The dangers caused by earthquakes continue even after the quake is over. Earthquakes often cause landslides, avalanches, and floods. Fires can also start when power lines are damaged. About 80% of the world's major earthquakes occur in the Ring of Fire, an area along plate edges in and near the Pacific Ocean. This area is also scattered with volcanoes. We live in places often hit by earthquakes are taught what to do in case of a quake. They find shelter beneath desks or archways to protect themselves from falling objects. Some people believe animals can sense when an earthquake is going to hit. Before the Messina Reggio earthquake of 1908, many dogs in the area began to howl. Fascinating fact! The Richter scale is the most commonly used scale for measuring the strength of earthquakes. The scale starts with a measurement of 1. An earthquake of 1 produces shakes so slight they can only be sensed by a seismograph, a machine that measures the strength and direction of seismic waves. An earthquake of 9 on the Richter scale is catastrophic. The scale has no upper limit, but there are no records of an earthquake measuring more than 9. The earthquake that hit Turkey in 1999 and killed more than 14,000 measured 7.4 on the scale. Volcanoes. What is a volcano? A volcano is an opening in Earth's crust. It's an opening in Earth's crust through which molten rock and gases erupt. Are volcanoes just mountains that sometimes explode? No. no. The most common type of a linear volcano is not even a mountain. It is a long crack in Earth's crust through which lava steadily flows without violent eruptions. Linear volcanoes are mainly found along the chains of underwater mountains on the ocean floors. A volcano's shape depends on what type of material erupts from the volcano and how that material erupts. When a composite volcano erupts, sometimes only lava slowly oozes out. Other times, the volcano erupts violently, spewing lava, gases, and rock fragments called tephra. Slowly oozes out. Other times, the volcano erupts violently, spewing lava, gases, and rock fragments called tephra. The lava and rock from the different eruptions build up in layers around the volcano to form a mountain. The volcano erupts when hot molten rock called magma rises from deep inside Earth and collects in a chamber in Earth's crust. Pressure in this chamber builds until the magma bursts through the rock above it. Volcanoes spew three types of material, gas, rock fragments, and lava. Lava is magma that reaches Earth's surface. Volcanoes are also present on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Mount Vesuvius in Italy is one of the most studied volcanoes. Its eruption in A.D. 79 was the first volcanic eruption recorded in great detail. 
the eruption buried the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in ash. Archaeologists have found the shapes and molds of some of the volcano's victims, including this dog, perfectly preserved in ash. Fascinating fact. The explosion of Mount Pinatubo was one of the most violent volcanic events of the 20th century. The volcano's eruption shook the Philippines in June 1991. A total of 19 eruptions took place, spreading so much volcanic ash that the sky remained black for weeks. Mount Pinatubo's disastrous explosions were made worse by the arrival of Typhoon Yuna. This strong tropical storm brought fierce winds and heavy rains. More than 1,000 people were killed and over half a million people lost their homes and possessions. Tornadoes? Hurricanes? What is the difference between a hurricane and a tornado? A hurricane is a huge, whirling tropical cyclone, or storm, with winds over 74 miles, 119 kilometers per hour. Hurricanes develop over warm waters in the Atlantic Ocean. Hurricanes that occur in the western Pacific Ocean are called typhoons. They can be up to 500 miles, 800 kilometers wide, and they often travel long distances before dying out. Tornadoes, on the other hand, usually form over dry land. They cover a smaller area, and they usually travel about 20 miles, 32 kilometers, before diminishing. Tornadoes, however, can still be very violent, often moving at around 10 to 25 miles, 16 to 40 kilometers per hour, and producing winds up to 300 miles, 480 kilometers per hour. What? Winds swirl around the eye in a spiraling motion. The United States experiences more tornadoes than any other part of the world. Tornadoes also occur in certain areas of Australia, as well as in Great Britain, China, Canada, France, Italy, Japan, and Russia. Doppler radar is one of the best tools for predicting tornadoes. This radar can sense when winds are spiraling in clouds. Scientists also can mount the radar on trucks and move it to different areas to check places where tornadoes often occur. Typhoon ever recorded took place in November 1970 in Bangladesh. The storm's powerful winds and the huge ocean waves they created killed 200,000 to 300,000 people. The strongest hurricanes recorded in the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea. The storm, which struck in 1988, raked the island of Jamaica and killed a total of 318 people in the United States, Mexico, and Jamaica. Fascinating facts. A storm's strong winds can lift large objects off the ground and drop them in completely different areas. Sometimes hurricane winds lift whole schools of fish out of ocean waters and drop them over dry land. The energy produced by a hurricane in one day is enough to power all the industrial production in the United States for a whole year and other winds. What is wind? Wind is the movement of air from one place to another. This movement is often caused by differences in air temperature or air pressure. When two air masses meet, for example, the lighter, warmer air rises and the cooler inside lakes or oceans during the day and toward them at night. Water in lakes and oceans takes much longer to heat up and cool down than land. Land is quickly heated by the sun during the day. The air over the land then heats up, rises, and expands. As the air rises, air from over the colder ocean or lake rushes in to fill the space. At night, the land cools off quickly. Now the air over the ocean is warmer and it rises while the cool air rushes out from over the land. Fascinating fact, the Beaufort Wind Force Scale is a range of wind speeds used to classify or categorize winds. The scale was invented in 1805 by Sir Francis Beaufort, an admiral in the British Navy. Low across desert areas. These winds can reach high speeds, lifting huge amounts of dust and sand that can darken the skies for days. 
fine dust swept high up into the atmosphere can fall to the ground thousands of miles away. In fact, rains that fall in Europe are sometimes colored red or yellow by particles of sand from the Sahara Desert in Africa. Around the world produce about 100 cloud-to-ground flashes of lightning a second, or 5 million a day. In summer, a land spout sometimes spins over crops, twirling the crop into flattened circles before it dies out. Max. Heavy storms carrying rain, sleet, or snow often occur when a mass of cold air meets warm, humid air. In March 1993, for example, an enormous mass of cold air moving from the Arctic regions collided with very hot and humid air from the Gulf of Mexico. The Atlantic coast of the United States was blasted by bitter cold winds of near hurricane speeds, huge waves, and heavy snowfalls. In just a few days, the weather caused 243 deaths and over $3 billion worth of damage. Hey guys, now that was it for the day, and just for to go, guys know that this is a new LPS. Yes. So... Thank you guys for watching this science video. Um, with, these were just science facts. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.